Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today we're going to do a quick two minute tip about the Dynamics file manager here and how we can make some little tweaks to it to get even more out of it. For those of you who don't actually know what it is, it's a native file manager built right into the GUI of Unraid. In Unraid 6 we need to install it through here, through the apps tab, through community applications, but in Unraid 7 it's built directly into the OS. But as well as being a file manager, it also is an editor as well. And here we can see that I can edit this text file. But it's not only text files that we can actually edit. We can also edit XML files like you can see here. But have you ever noticed sometimes you'll go to edit a certain type of file. For example here this bash script, if I click onto it, there's a message to say that it's unsupported. But if we rename the file putting a .txt at the end, we can see that the editor can in fact open it. But we don't really want to be having to rename files in order to edit them. Let's have a look at another example as well. And to do that we'll go into the app data here and then into the reverse proxy schwags app data. In Schwag we have these .sample files that we actually edit and then rename to .conf, but again the .sample is unsupported. However the .conf we can open absolutely fine, so as the .conf files are just renamed .sample files, we know that they can actually be opened. So let's make some tweaks to allow the file editor to be able to open these files. So on the main tab go down to where it says flash and click on the icon here to open up the files on the flash drive, go to the config folder, and the file we're looking for is editor.cfg. So if we click onto this file, we can actually edit it. And here on separate lines, we can add different file extensions for it to be able to open. So for bash, I'm putting S8. Let's put sample to be able to open the swag sample files. We'll add JSON to be able to open JSON files. Now you can see this list isn't a comprehensive list of all of the types of files that the actual editor opens because we've opened .cfg and .conf files earlier. So not everything's in this list. PHP's listed, so we'll be able to open that. But I wonder if we can open HTML files. OK, so PHP, as we expected, opens fine. HTML, no, that's not opening currently. So let's add HTML. So I've got what I need here, so now I'm going to click Save. OK, so now we can see we can open .html files. And here, if we look at our bash script, we can open that and everything's really nicely colorized, so it's great to work on. And finally, in Swag, we can now open the .sample files. So just a quick tip for how to get the file editor to open more files. I'm sure this will all be built in in the future, and you may be watching this video wondering why I'm even mentioning this. Now also don't forget that the file manager can open more than just text files and edit files. It can actually open picture files and also open video files as you can see here. Anyway guys, I better wrap this video up because it's actually gone into three minutes now and I'm sure some people will moan that it's not just two minutes. But if you don't care that it went over time and you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And again, I want to give a big thank you to all of my patrons and supporters out there. Thank you so much guys for all of your support. Anyway, it's time for me to go now, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.